Hello and welcome to my video on our Trans-Siberian railroad trip. This is a little kind of um, coupe style tour for you guys who want to take this this trip because um, I knew that I was very curious about what the sleeping arrangements and what the actual train carriages would look like so I'm gonna put a couple of small videos together to help you guys decide what class it is you want to pay for um, and what sort of value you get for your money so I'll start by giving you a quick tour of this is a first class trans-siberian um, coupe or compartment and it's for two people my girlfriend Sandra here and uh, as you can see we've got some nice Siberian wilderness rolling by outside but it's um it's a pretty small little compartment this is me standing literally inside the little compartment door and um, yeah so you got two kind of little berths along the side two little cushions two sofas that you can sit on during the day uh, the compartment comes with um, nice clean linens a couple of pillows got two pillows with this one and I got my bed sheets up here on top uh, you got plenty of storage along the top which we've been using for our food um, on the top this is all your luggage storage which is it goes pretty far back so you got plenty of space for suitcases and your rucksacks again you got more storage space over the other side for clothes or any other things that you need to put away <clears throat> in the middle we have our little table which has proved so useful for books you know my laptop here for watching movies um, you know you can have your little breakfast and stuff if you get your food from the stops which has been great um, yeah and that's really it in the middle we really don't have much space here it's only about two feet wide so but it's 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 very nice for for what I what we were both expecting um, in this compartment comes um, two plugs not one but two which was a huge surprise for us and they, they come in like the the East Asian style I guess so the two the two round prongs or European style maybe and it's 220 volt so if you need an adapter it's very useful um, again these are your, your little bell for your provodnika which is your attendant and she's really helpful she'll come and help you if you need anything but I never use this it's a bit yeah it's not necessary lights a um, bunch of mirrors in here if you've got like a mirror fetish um, lights on top this one does come with air conditioning however I think it's centrally um, like centrally controlled so we don't actually have access to like any switches to to fix that yeah and a nice a nice window with a with a good view of Siberia rolling past outside which is really nice and I'll quickly give you an idea of the view from the outside in so let's open up this is the main the main corridor left Right, look in. Yep, and that's about the sum of it. And later on in this video, I'll show you guys a quick tour of the toilets. And uh, I should just mention before I, I finish that all different classes. In the, in the Russian railway networks seem to have different standards of sleeping arrangements, different um, different styles. I do believe this carriage that we're on is, is quite old. It seems to have been refurbished at least once before, but it is definitely very old, but very, very comfortable. These, these berths are, are very soft, they're very comfortable, you sleep very well on them, so if it's a little bit of comfort and privacy you're after, this is probably your best your best bet.
Right, so this is a quick little tour tour of our um, our compartment on the Russia, which is the the train between Vladivostok and Moscow non-stop. So it's much nicer than the first one we took, as you can see. There's a little bit less space for storage on this one, which is fine. But the bed sheets, the linens are much nicer and much more comfortable.